It's Alice from eKid Hub, and I'm here with some simple word editing trick and branding tricks for you. We've had a customer who asked us about adding their logo, header, and footer, you know, just adding some, uh, you know, customization to a PLR document in Word format. And here we have an example. It's our report that's called fun five fun ideas for being more present in your life. And it's available in our shop ekits.com shop as are all kinds of other reports that you could pick up and uh, customize for your own. So you will probably know that our reports always come with this cover that appears on the first page. It's actually a graphic as you can see and it's it's covering the whole page. We do actually give you a PSD file of this so you could open it in Photoshop or the free photo P editor and you could manipulate the different layers and the background and change the image here, change the fonts, change the text, whatever you would like. But maybe you don't want to do that. You just don't want to deal with the graphics editors and that's cool because you can still add your logo to this within your document. So in order to add an image, uh, there are a couple ways to do it. Maybe there's more than a couple in Word, but you could go under insert. And I'm using a Mac and I'm not sure what version of Word, but it might look a little different than yours, but it'll still be basically the same. Insert picture from file, or you can just drag and drop, which is what we're gonna do. And if you've ever dragged and dropped onto a cover like this, you might've found your image disappeared and you wondered why and it's because the image you're putting in hasn't been form formatted just yet so we're going to put it here and let's say we wanted to just have it at the top when there we could do that we can go to home and we can center it um, but if we want to move it up and put it into the graphic, you just need to make sure you you uh, go, could, I'm going to do control, click the mouse, and then I have this wrap text uh, thing come up for me. And I'm going to put it in front of text. So now it's actually coming in front of here. But now we can easily drag and drop it up to exactly where we want it. You can stretch it to be bigger. You can be smaller. You can put it sideways, whatever you want to do. Uh, and then you can actually put it in the header or footer of your of your document and have it appear on every single page if you wanted to. So we can go insert and you have header, footer, they, those features pretty much work the same. You would go edit header, and again, if you want, you can drag and drop that in there. If you want to center it, you can go, I go to home, and there's probably a shorter way to do that. I put it there, maybe I'd make it smaller since it's in a header. Now, if you get lost here, you're like, how do I get out of here? You just go to header and footer up here, close header and footer and you will see that the logo is there. You can also obviously add text. You can add page numbers. That's one of the one of the features in the header and footer. So if we go footer, edit, you could write copyright me. Don't don't steal this. OK, we're not going to do that. But you have that there. You can also make the different page different. You could change the odd and even pages. You can add a page number, all that good stuff. You can decide where it goes, right, side, middle. There we go. And we have page numbers on everything. And again, when you're done, close header and footer. But again, if you get stuck in there and you've moved around, always just go back to header and footer and the close header footer square will appear there. There we go. We're all set.